hi guys and welcome back to my channel today i'll be doing this look for you which is a no makeup makeup look and i hope you guys enjoy so keep watching if you want to get this look let's begin again so what i've done so far with my face is i've just applied my moisturizer and i've kept it nice and still my skin's a bit like oilyish. so because obviously we're doing a challenge that's like um i wouldn't say a challenge because it's like makeup for very natural looking skin i'm trying to keep it as natural as possible and just as to myself because it's a no makeup look so you don't want something that looks too heavy obviously and yeah let's just get into it um i've already put my moisturizer so i'm gonna prime with a little bit of professional uh, wherever like I needed it so let's see here okay alrighty just wherever you have your pores and then I'm gonna go in with my bear with me uh, by NYX cosmetics which you guys have seen but you haven't seen me do this kind of look with it so i'm going to show you how to get the most like minimal usage like of it like just i got like a little drop on my finger so i'm just gonna smear it where like need be work as much as you can with your fingers i would suggest <clears throat> Uh, because it just works better with your skin I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender I mean my uh, the makeup brush my foundation brush and I'm just gonna really push it into the skin because no makeup makeup it you may think it would be like shorter and it actually takes a lot more time to just make the skin look like it's this it's your own make make your face look like it's your own skin just a bit better so you can just i'm not putting anything in the eye area just because i don't want to um so i would suggest that you guys use the Maybelline Age Rewind. If you have this at home, you can use the Age Rewind. I find this a much better, what should I say, um, concealer to use. Be nice. Sorry about that. So I, I would use this, obviously. Just got a new one. I have so much of cream on my fingers so you just twist it and i just find this a bit better to use okay, let's get some product out of here okay just like let's see okay it's gonna take a lot more i got a little face towel here so i can just Ah, I see some product so you really really have to like twist it to get product out um, and there we go and I don't want too much as I said it's very minimal and this I would say just wherever you have discoloration or like I have here I have also like on my forehead a little here and there also you can use it to highlight certain areas so I would say like these areas just so that it makes my skin look a bit flaw more flawless because obviously it is a no makeup makeup look um and i'm just gonna go in with a damp beauty blender a not very really clean one and i'm just gonna push it if you don't want to use a beauty blender if you want more seamless sort of result you can use um your finger because for years I used my finger, like my finger, the finger technique was not because I didn't have brushes, but I would 
prefer using my finger two brushes just because it gave me a much more natural skin like look so here you go that's basically your skin sort of done and then i want to go into our brows i'm going to use my my um thing benefit uh essence brow stylist set in the shade one natural i'll take the lighter color and apply it here and i would take okay so other brow just because it's a much a more natural finish are done after your eyebrows are sort of filled you can go in with mascara but before mascara I want to curl my lashes and show you guys how I do that so get it on there and hold it for 10 seconds so I do it like that held it for like 10 seconds and I'm using the L'Oreal Telescopic Extra Black okay that's that one I'm not so excited about the lashes not looking like amazing but I'll get there I'll show you guys how so that's the other one so mainly drugstore products being used I mean you can get L'Oreal telescopic from a clicks or the scam near you because no makeup makeup is just something to enhance like what you already have been but it, you already have your own skin and your own features. So just to enhance it, I'm gonna go in with my bad girl bang. Just because I really want this lash look to be nice. I love lashes. If I could do like one thing I want to like, I'd always emphasize is my eyes. Like I love lashes. <clears throat> and I'm going in with Urban Decay uh, Perversion. Bigger, black, blacker, badder mascara. And it looks really nicely curled and nice and thick as well. I am going to take my foundation brush again. And just, I find that I am looking a little bit... I like the glow. That's not a problem. But under my eyes, I'm not like a fan. So I'm just going to dab it with the foundation brush. Just under my eyes. Because I do have really oily lids as well. For cons uh, contour, I'm going in with this just because I find a cream would be much more natural looking. So I'm gonna use my fingers and just cream contour here and just a little bit, a little bit on my forehead, just uh, like a touch there. And I'm gonna go in nicely with it down here because down here is where you need the contour the most for that double chin okay i'm gonna go back in with my foundation brush but i'm not gonna use that one i'm gonna use the buffy brush from switch i'm gonna use this and i'm gonna try my best to just blend everything everything down and you can just blend your forehead as well just a little area that you did and then that's it 
it's a much more natural contour um for eyes just because i have very shiny lids i do like to apply like a little bit of a powder to them so i'm grabbing my hula on like a, a, a crease brush and i'm just gonna because my lids are very oily so yeah that's my hula bronzer let's see that's how it's looking for blush, I'm going to go back in with my switch and I'm going to take that pink shade and I'm just going to tap it. Just because you want a little bit of like this just flashed face. So yeah, go back in with your buffy. It's looking very pink looking too pink for me so um because of that obviously i don't want such rosy cheeks i'm gonna take buffy again i'm just gonna apply my mac uh studio fix uh powder just over it a little so that you don't have like two pink cheeks and you're looking like a clown and yeah so that's basically that and then I'm going in with highlighter. Just to get a more natural finish of highlighter, I'm gonna use uh, this brush and my MAC palette, um, Hyper Real Glow. I've noticed that my phone picks up this mirror light and just goes for it. So a very natural highlight. If you want, uh, if you don't wanna use, like if you don't like want such a killer highlight, like. I normally have you don't want to use this the LA girl luminous glow looks amazing for no makeup look obviously I'm gonna go in with some lips so I'm taking like a very I don't know what can I say it's like simple natural look lip color so I'm taking a my Woolworths Berry Lip Liner and lining my lips. And I'm just gonna line everywhere. The, the whole lip to give it sort of the, that sort of like tinge. Then I'm gonna go in with my KKW Beauty Cream Lipstick in the shade Nude 4. And this is like the lipstick, it's so pretty. It's just this plain little thing and it's, I love the colors. And it does give my lips like a really natural gloss. Oh, another thing I wanna do uh, back with my Hula Bronzer is I'm gonna take that same sort of like crease brush that I had um, used on the lids and I'm gonna take uh, take the hula bronzer again and I'm just gonna contour a little bit of my nose. I'll show you why I've done it now. It's because you can just pop that on and you just wanna, you just wanna Take your bronzer and just put it out. And after that, I set our highlighter. So highlighter is gonna go back in with my Hyper Real Glow first shade. And I'm just gonna highlight my brow bone, highlight my nose, and I'm gonna highlight. And um, I was just thinking I need sort of like a brownish shadow under like here because I feel like it looks too light under my eyes. So I wanted to go in with like a brown eyeliner and I have bought one from Urban Decay. It's the 24 hour glide on eye pencil. And it's this like brown shade. It's called Smog. I 
this black would be a bit too harsh for no makeup look so brown for me is like the next best thing and I think we're almost done with the face I'm putting a whole lot of switch because I like my no makeup to be very glowy and this is a very very natural no makeup makeup so um no makeup makeup is sort of clean skin um no not really like eyeshadow um a nice natural lip color like the one i have at the moment it's very natural yeah i love i love lashes so i accentuate i like i accentuate my lashes i put like three different types of mascaras on brows and with this look it's like you can use it how you want so let's just say you just want a no a, like not a heavy makeup look this looks for that this is like you know what i want to look very natural and just clean skin my skin's not looking that nice i need to con like conceal here and there and i just need to look really nice but minimal products this is the look i go for it does take a little longer than sometimes doing a full amazing look but it's worth it because it's kept very minimal so yeah i guess this is the no makeup makeup no makeup face like what you have no makeup on but you have makeup on that sort of face i love doing it especially to go for like prayers or um like yeah like ceremonies even i i like this no makeup face because it looks like oh has she wear one like that much like what is she doing has she just put on a bb cream and looking like you know that sort of thing so try and keep your lip color very close to what your natural lip color is and just glowy skin soft everything keep it really soft and really muted that's like the only advice i would give so i hope you guys enjoyed watching thanks bye like and subscribe follow and find me on instagram and all those things